Michael, thanks again for your wonderful speech and for your willingness to take questions from the floor. Let's now talk a little bit about hunger and fighting hunger. Uh, one of my first questions I have is, uh, could you please describe the concept of food security? What does that mean? Many people think that um, to ensure that people are not undernourished, it's enough to just make food available. But uh, if you look at the practical situation of people that suffer from hunger, in most cases it's not about food not being available, it's about them having no access to food. For example, not sufficient economic means to get to the food. Food would be available, but they cannot afford it. Or if you are sick, you cannot process the food uh, that you ingest. So uh, taking care of the health situation is quite important. If you don't know what food is important for you to get the necessary micronutrients, then again, you might uh, have food available, you might have access to it, you might uh, eat sufficient calories, but still you might uh, even die from uh, the consequences uh, of that undernourishment. So establishing food security is a complex matter that requires looking after several dimensions uh, that in essence are you know, taking care of availability, access, uh, taking care of the health situation of people, taking care of education and the way people process food and then have stability all across those factors. The hunger crisis in the developing world and in areas that are impacted by war that you addressed in your speech is so profound. What is your advice to the individuals in our firm about how to make a difference? Can one make a difference? Definitely yes. Uh, and it's all about taking care and not uh, living with the situation that in the 21st century people die from hunger. And there are many ways and means in which you can do that. You can do that uh, by donating, you can do that by uh, putting in your professional expertise that can help in a lot of cases, and I, as I explained in my, my speech, uh, there are many legal aspects uh, to the fight for hunger. So getting engaged, uh, but most important, not looking the other way, that's uh, what you can do. Our firm, Morgan Lewis, has been very involved with, hung with hunger prevention for many years. Can you talk about why it is important for large global firms to work in a coordinated way on this issue? First of all, large, big corporations, important firms, they have a say on this planet. And uh, this is getting increasingly important in a globalized economy. So with the possibility to exercise influence, also comes a responsibility in my point of view. Mm -hmm. And many things that uh, states, national states, are sometimes too weak to bring about, a good coalition of large corporations could make a hell of a difference. In preparation of today's interview, I took a look at uh, your website and uh, it's also available in English, I should say, to my, <laughs> my US and international colleagues. And I found a very interesting position paper by Welt Hungerhilfe on rural development. And in this position paper, you provide an overview on the complexities associated with fighting hunger. Could you please provide another current example on these complex issues? If we look at where hunger lives on this planet today, um, it is a paradoxical situation, but mostly it lives in rural areas uh, among uh, poor smallholder farmers. Um, where the dire straits uh, of their families are, are uh, pretty important. Uh, there are obviously uh, severe issues that have to do uh, with the increasing size of large mega cities and so on, but still the largest percentage of people that suffer from hunger, they are on uh, smallholder farming, uh, in small, uh, living in smallholder farming environments. And uh, to help them, it, it, it is a complex issue. It is an issue that has to do with climatic change. So if you are living in sub-Saharan Africa, believe me, you can see it in the landscape uh, there. Uh, the climatic changes, uh, they impact the smallholder farmers. Yeah. Summers get a lot drier. Uh, there is a lot, lot less water available. Uh, there are severe issues with the crops that need to withstand other conditions and so on. Then you have issues that have to do with the tenure of land and the land grabbing by large corporations that see interesting possibilities or even whole national states like China uh, looking to secure their food uh, um, 
issues uh, for the large populations within Africa. Uh, the, these create a number of legal issues uh, that uh, sometimes illiterate farmers cannot uh, cope with themselves. So you have a, a, a huge complexity that on the other hand also offers a big lever for change. So if we address some of those topics in a coherent way as a global community, we can help uh, a huge number of people out of poverty and out of hunger and make this planet a much safer place. Finally, could you please discuss briefly what it has meant to your organization to have pro bono legal assistance from Morgan Lewis? It has been a tremendous help. And, and you cannot even assess the importance of it. Because many people think it's about the dollars we saved or the euros we saved. Yes, it is also about that. Because we can then use that money for our cause, for fighting hunger. But the real beauty of it has been a high caliber, high quality professional assistance. And I have worked many, many years in the corporate world, so I know what that means, the billable hours that you donate to us in terms of their quality. And on the other hand, it has been provided by very, very passionate people. And that makes an even bigger value. So you have felt with us our challenges, you have helped to solve these challenges, and you have done it with a professional expertise that is second to none. Thank you very much, Michael, and I can only say on behalf of Morgan Lewis, it has always been a pleasure to work with you. Thank you.